Hello everyone, welcome to round 11 of the SRL Championship. Um, we are having a mixed grid today and we are having tier 3 and tier 4 mixed. So it's going to be really exciting um, because of the low attendances we have decided to mix the grids and we will see who will be the fastest today. Um, currently we are having Lunar Jedi, he is the championship leader at this stage in tier 3 and Lancey was not available in, is currently the championship leader in tier 4 but right behind him, let's see who is in second place in the championship, it's Martin Oli um, the points will be counted separated so um, this is an example when a tier 4 driver finishes um, as the highest um, that could be P5, that could be P6 or whatever um, he will get P1 in tier 4 so also the fastest laps are separated so we will definitely keep an eye on that and we have a new name on our boards with Tomat is a reserve in tier 4 really cool that he was available to join us and we currently have 18 drivers on the grid today so that's good to see so we're definitely going to have some great battles on track Everyone is on their outlap. Casey currently driving in the white Red Bull. Um, so is Sokeluni. Um, really nice livery. So really curious what the tire strategies will be. I think it's very, very hard to qualify on the mediums. I've tried it myself in the practice races this week and it was terrible. So really curious if any drivers can set their time on the mediums. Everyone is running on the softs. So we will see some great laps with PSC Duggo currently going on his first lap and Larsh is in front of him and so is Martinoli starting his lap and Sammy but Larsh is the first one to set a lap so we're going to stay on board with Larsh on the soft tire he's a tier 4 driver but we we already know that Larsh is so quick um, he just needs to focus a bit more on the consistency but so he didn't have a lot of luck this season so far uh, purple sector 2 of course he did and it's cloudy out there um, really not sure about the race conditions to be honest but we will, saw it, we will see how that pays out but Lars is really attacking those corners, really tough track to drive on really easy to invalidate your lap and we are going to... Lars is going to set the fastest lap at this moment um, will he be followed by PSD Doggo? we will see, PSD Doggo is almost crossing the line, let's see if he can Improve the time of Lorsch. It's looking good for him, but I don't think it's going to be fast enough. And there's Martinoli one second away in the 132s. And Casey is right behind Martinoli. So Martinoli did a crazy lap, to be honest. And Molly is just right behind him. So everyone is now finishing his first lap. And we have a tier 4 driver at the top at this moment and there's Emma and there's Lunar Jedi into P2 Irma did a great lap 132.7 and 92 hundreds away from oh so we're going to follow TGW on his first lap 
Um, we are currently, I think a low 32 is possible on this track for the current drivers. We're going to stay on board with TGW. Where is he going to end up? He has a guy in front of him. Hopefully he will get out of the way. It's Max. Oh, a little bit of a moment there. But Max gets out of the way nicely. On the right moment. So, good job from him. But TGW is now really attacking the corners. He's currently in... The last sector, let's see where he can, oh, Zaccheluni is already out of this qualifying session. Let's see what TG we can do, 134.0, and that puts him in P10. So we have a really mixed grid today, and as we can see in the qualifying standings as well. And we have Sid joining us, so good for Sid. He can take one of the remaining teams. Uh, Mali is also really close behind. And Mali is currently improving on his usual time. So let's see if he can improve. He is taking it really wide there, and really a oh, a bit of a moment there, but he kept it on. Oh, he gets a purple sector two, and is three tenths up on his usual time. So can Molly in the Alfa Romeo surprise us all with a good lap? We will see. He's currently three tenths up. Now he needs to extend this lap till the end. No invalid, no time for invalidations. He's really taking the, the track wide. And that's good to see. And there goes Molly into first place with a 132.5. And that's a current professional pole. And Max is also improving. Max goes to 7th fastest. 7th and top on his time. Which is good to see. Both of the Romeos definitely aiming for a good result today and Tomat is just starting his lap and Emmett Trucker have been set a lap at this moment as well so let's stay on board with Emmett Trucker a purple sector one as the game tells us so really good from Emmett Trucker But can he extend that lap? He's looking good so far. It's a really tough tra track to drive, especially in the S's in sector one. Really easy to lose it or invalidate your lap. But Emma Trucker is looking very, very strong. No purple in sector 2. But he still kept it on track. So let's see where Emma Trucker can end up. With 9 minutes remaining here in this qualifying session at the Circuit of Americas. Where will Emma Trucker, tier 4 driver at this moment, usually in the, in the Red Bull, so he will definitely score his points in the Red Bull as well. He goes 9th fastest. And Martin Oli is the only tier 4 driver who is currently in the top 4. Uh, which is good to see. So he is on a hot lap, so let's stay on board with him is, if, if he's improving. He is improving by one tenth. A really great challenge for him to drive against the fastest drivers here. He is currently one tenth up on his usual time. Oh, he's 
lifting a little bit out of that corner where it should be a full throttle corner. Let's see where Martinoli can he improve on his usual time. Oh, Martinoli spun in the wall. Martinoli's in the wall, unfortunate for him. And Tomat just said his lap time with 2.6 seconds away from the others. And Sid is now attacking those corners. And we will see a 26.4 in sector one. I don't think that's really good to be honest. Sid is a Reserve of tier 4 recently joined us. Oh, cheap skills goes fastest. A good lap from him. 132.2. That's amazing from amazing stuff from cheap skills. A really great lap. And the Mercedes boys are flying around Kota. And Connor's in the wall. He lost it. Or did he just retire? I think he just retired. And let's follow Lars. Lars is on another outlap. And he's going in the pits. So we're going to stay on board with Sid, who's going to finish his first lap in the McLaren. What will his first time be? And the sit goes to a 136.1 and that's four seconds away from the top at this moment. Really great qualifying so far. Oh, R1D44 has spun around. And Quina is just starting his lap. He already invalidated. And Mali is starting his hot lap. Can he improve? And that's a purple sector one. And already one turned up on his... Oh, invalidation for him. And Max is also starting his hot lap. The teammate of Mali. Currently sitting in P8. He definitely wants to improve himself. But will he be able to? He's not switching gears and already one and a half turned up in sector one. In sector one you can gain a lot of time if you don't screw it up. So we will see how Max can improve his time. Really early on the throttle, running a bit wide, but he kept it in within the track limits. And he's now heading to the end of sector two. Let's see if his time is improving. Yes, he is. Another purple sector for Max. Four ten top already. He's looking very strong. Oh, runs a bit wide, but no invalidation so far. No lifting, just full throttle. Uh, oh, runs wide, and that's an invalid. No invalidation. Oh, he's, he, he's still continuing. And Max is going to cross the line, and with a 132.8, and currently sitting in P4. Oh, Martin Oli is on his outlap, but he's standing still on the track. He's just waiting, I think, for the guys to pass. Casey is going for another lap as well. And so is Emma Trucker, but Emma Trucker already invalidated. And PSD Duggo is already six stands up. A purple sector two. As the game tells us, but I don't think that's right. Unless PSD Doggo can surprise us all with a good lap time. 
Oh, invalidation. Oh, he's going for another lap, I think. And, oh, he just ruined this. And Gord is on a flyer, so let's see where he can end up. Gord is going to cross the line with a 135.4, and that's currently in P17. And Quinna is now crossing the line. He's going for another lap. And Irma is really someone to look at. Oh, Irma! Irma just invalidated. Martinoli starting his hot lap as well. And it's really easy to invalidate your lap on this track. So, really busy on track at the moment. A lot of drivers on their hot laps. And PC Doggo will not be able to get another run with that low ERS. But let's stay on board with TG Wee and Emma Trucker just retired from the session. So we're going to stay on board with TG Wee. Can he improve himself to get a good lap in? He's running a bit wide, but he kept it within the track limits. And TGW is now going to cross the line and with a 133.7 and four tenths up still in P9 at this stage of the ray of this qualifying session. Martinoli has not improved his lap as well. And will be cheap skills to be the fastest on track. Cheap skills is currently not improving, but Mali is he improving? No, he's not improving as well. Will Lunar Jedi be able to challenge the guys in front? And Quina moves up to P7. A great performance from him after three laps on his U his current tire and Lars is starting his hot lap as well and uh, so is Tomat and Sid Jeep skills is really close to beating his current time but he has Max in front of him oh that's unfortunate no Oh, he kept it on track. Actually, I think that was a invalidation, to be honest. But Chief Skills is improving. Another improvement from Chief Skills, only by 1300. But a great job from him. And Mali is aboarding, and Arama has improved as well. But let's stay on board. If Lunar Jedi will be able to get a good run, I think this pole position is for Chief Skills. But never count out the current championship leader in tier 3. We'll see. No. It's a Lunar Jedi improving by 2 tenths. A purple sector 3. But no. Oh, it's Martinoli. Martinoli goes fastest with a 132.2. 49 thousands away from Chief Skills. And... What a great lap from him as a tier 4 driver. He just smashed all the tier 3 drivers at this stage. A great lap from Martinoli and he gets that pole position. Wow. Great stuff from him. So this was our qualifying session of today with Martin Oli surprising us all with that pole position. Cheap skills into P2, Mali into P3, Erma 4, Lunar Jedi, Max Ball, Quina, great qualifying performance from him as well. 
um, large into P8, uh, KC in P9, TGV in P10, MN Troca in P11, Connor 12, Dago, Zokeluni, Samizet, Tomat, Sid, R1D44 and Gord is finishing the grid. And we are currently on the formation lap with Martin Oli on that pole, pole position. Um, let's have a look at the current tire situations. It's only MN Trocker who is on the medium tire and the rest of the grid are on the softs. Well, I think it's something great to see um, for everyone that the soft tire is the fastest tire at the start of this race. Not sure, um, but I think the soft tires will last only 8 to 10 laps. So, if you're good on the tires, you can stretch the soft medium strategy. Um, but if you're not good on the tires, you will have to go to the hards. As the predicted strategies are soft, hard and soft, medium, soft. So what will the drivers do on their strategies? Strategy is a really interesting one today. Um, I think it stays dry for now. So, But definitely Cheap Skills is on a horn hunt. And so is Martin Oli lining up at the starting grid. We're going to have some great battles today. Hopefully everyone can keep it clean. And in the first corner it's really really tight. So we will be lining up on the grid while we're waiting for Gold. The last driver on the grid today. He's starting at P19, but we're definitely curious what they can do. So we will go with three, four, and five red lights, and away we go. And what a great start from the Alvatore driver, Martin Oli. He kept P1, and Erma's already on the inside alongside him and oh carnage at the start already and there's a Ferrari spinning Quina is already off and Martinoli already created a great gap with Erma already into P2 Mali into P3 and Cheap Skills lost two positions at the start of this race and look at Sammy Sammy is already winning seven positions So, we already have Quina in the wall, which is unfortunate. And Gord is already 
losing a lot of time and Lars had a moment at the start as well but we are racing and Mali is already having a look on the outside of cheap scales can he make the move and he made the move Mali into P3 P2 he did the move on Erma to be honest and cheap scales oh look at the Mercedes drivers they are having a collision Oh, um, really tough racing and uh, look at Lunar Jedi he is really looking to have a go on on the boat myself yeah we are we ready to get the move done on one of them and he is now aiming to get the move done on Erma a lot of battles on track really hard to follow everything so Martin only sets the fastest lap and is already two seconds away in the mix of tears today so great job from him and Tomat and Sid are already in the top 10 oh Evan Trucker lost it what happened to oh Evan Trucker's in the wall I'm not sure what happened there but and Sid is going for a move on Sammy side by side and late breaking from Sid gets him moved up to P8 already winning nine positions so a great start from the reserve of tier 4 really his ERS is already very very low and look at Lunar Jedi Lunar Jedi is really pushing and pushing and Tomat gets the move done on S Sammy as well but still side by side they go and Tomat is really oh Sammy is really late breaking from him and it's already Connor who is looking to have a go on Tomat but still no collision so far so clean racing from everyone and the DRS has been enabled this lap so will Lunar Jedi be able to get the move done on Irma he is closing in and Irma is looking to struggle a bit on the soft tire compound and we're going through the S's now really easy to lose a lot of time and Mali gets a three second time penalty so Irma will be very happy about that And Max Bell is already closing in to cheap skills. Oh, we have a battle between Tomat and Zami. Tomat gets the move done. And he's already into P9. Great job from him. Oh, we have a yellow in sector one. Who lost it? Oh, it's TG Wee. And Sammy is already alongside Tomat. Sammy has a lot of straight line speed um, which is very useful oh Sammy spins oh and Connor got collected by Sammy and that will allow Lars to close up on Zokeluni and Tomat is already past Sid and Max is closing in to Casey Casey's lights are already flashing but they're both having 50% of ERS left oh no what happened R1D44 spawn and Sammy's in the pits so we're closing back to the battle between Lunar Jedi and Erma for P3 And currently Martin Oli is of course winning the tier 4 race um, but Mali is currently winning the tier 3 race as it stands oh a bit of a touch there from Lunar Jedi to Arama 
<clears throat> Let's have a look. Er can Lunar Jedi make a move on Erma? He is closing in. Only two tenths away. He's not close enough to put it up on the inside. So he will need to wait till the next duress. But the straight line speed of Lunar is good enough to close in. Well, Erma is closing in to Mali and Martinoli is just driving away. Martinoli is really looking strong. I really don't know why I have put him in tier 3. Tier 4. But look at Lunar Jedi. He is still within 3 tenths. But Erma in front of him picks up the DRS on Mali. So it's really hard to pass for him. And a bit of a train ongoing between P6 to P2. So we have a great battle on our hands. KC driving his home Grand Prix um, as an American. So he definitely aims for a good, good result today. Zuccheluni is in the pits. And currently they are pitting for the hard tires. But still, Lunar Jedi is not close enough. And Mali is just really quick on the straights. And Lunar Jedi gets a good exit now. Will he be able to get the move done? He's close enough. But he's not switching on his ERS. So he will not be close enough to make the move. So he's just calculating his move. And we have a battle between both McLaren boys. Into turn one. Oh, a little bit of a touch. A small kiss to the back of his teammate. And... Sit and Toto Matt gets a three second time penalty. So unfortunate for him, but we will definitely see a lot of penalties. He already gets six seconds, and Mali gets three seconds. Sit has three seconds, and PSC Doggo has three seconds. So Lunar Jedi. We're switching back to the battle between Erma and Lunar Jedi. Both competitors. Oh, Lunar Jedi is taking it wide. Tree wide. Lunar Jedi is breaking lights. But Mali keeps in front. And Erma is still in front of Lunar Jedi. Lunar Jedi is really, really struggling out of that corner. But Chief Skills is closing in as well. And a bit of oversteer there from Lunar Jedi. Will he be beaten by Cheap Skills in the first couple of laps? Or will we be able to close in on Erma again? We will find out. Let's see. Lunar Jedi gets a good exit. But Erma gets a good exit as well. So we're back in the train we were. And Tomat has just passed his teammate as well. And what a thrilling of a race so far. Um, with a lot of close battles on track. And Martinoli, the, the current leader, is just gaining and gaining time on the guys behind him. Really good stuff from him. But Irma, look at Irma. He gets a good exit. Will he get... Oh! And Mali is just backing off. And let Erma. Oh, Erma is losing. And oh, so close racing. And Mali just picks up the DRS on Erma. And look at Lunar Jedi. Look at Lunar Jedi. 
He is coming alongside Irma. Bradley breaking. And Irma keeps in front. And Mali is still alongside. Lunar Jedi, the current championship leader, doesn't need to take a lot of risks. What a great battle, guys. Really great racing between everyone. Great stuff. And Zoke Lune gets a three second time penalty. And it's going to be Mali who's in the pits. And oh, Sid has lost, lost it. I'm not sure what happened to him. And Tomat and Sid has just collided. And Tomat is in the pits. And that will allow Connor to move up a place into P9. Five seconds time penalty for Tomat as well. He is very unfortunate. A really short pit entry we have here so it might be a good choice to go for the um, two-stop strategy but and so is Mali and Casey are going for the two-stop strategy they have pitted for a fresh off tires And now it's going to be Erma closing in on with Martinoli straight line speed. It's just amazing. We have three DNF so far. Martinoli is just stretching away from Erma. I really don't know why we have put him in tier 4. Look at him. He's flying and even beating the guys in tier 3 so that's amazing stuff and still the closest battle on track is between the top oh and Lunar Jedi gets is going in the pits after 9 laps which tire is he choosing well we have a battle between Mali and Connor Mali is closing in. Look at him. He's on the fresh off tire. So he has the advantage. Uh, look at him. Easy overtake by him. On the inside now of Connor. And gets moved on even before the corner. So Mali is on a charge now. He needs to gain a lot of time. To catch the guys in front. And also catch Martinoli. Who is definitely on the alternate strategy. He is definitely stretching his current stint to go to, to the hard tires. Or maybe even the mediums. We will find out in a moment. So we have Casey also chasing down Connor on the fresh off tire. Gets a good exit. And of course, Connor is a sitting duck. Because he is on running on. 8 lap old soft and we have Mali already passing Lars for P5 and he's now going for the hunt on his teammate and Casey is chasing Lars as well when will the guys pit and when and look at Casey. Oh, Lars running wide. Casey is having a look. And what a move by Casey. And Lars needs to pit. No, he's still continuing. And so we have the leaders now pitting. Martinoli going on the hearts. Max Bell going on the mediums. And Casey gets the fastest lap. And Casey is still in front of Martinoli's fun. No. Martin, just be cautious there, mate. You don't have anything to lose. And Casey is now in two. You know, Mali is in virtual P1. With Irma still need to, need to make a pit stop. Cheap skills switched back to fresh shots as well. So he is on a two-stop strategy as well. Well, Lunar Jedi is on the mediums. Where can he end up? Will he stretch it till the end? I'm not sure if he, if he will be able to. 
And Lunar Jedi gets the move done on Connor as well. And Larsh is still running and gets passed by Martinoli, the teammate for today. Oh! Lars! Oh no! Lars has clipped the back of Martin Oli. Which resulted him into a small spin. And now Martin Oli is under pressure from Lunar Jedi. Martin Oli is definitely struggling on those hard tyres. And Lars is going in the pits. And now Lunar Jedi is all over him. Lunar Jedi is all over. Martinoli is on the quickest tire. Will he be able to get the move done? Not into turn one. But he's going through the S's and now the medium tire has a lot more grip compared to the hard and you can see that he is gaining and gaining on Martinoli. Look at Lunar Jedi, he is closing in to Martinoli. Can he pick up? Oh, Martinoli runs a bit wide. That will allow Lunar Jedi to have a good exit. And he's in the slipstream within five tenths. Picking up the DRS and the DRS enabled. Will he be able to get the move done even before the corner? He is going to have a look. And Martinoli defending the, ins the inside. Oh, look at Lunar Jedi. To have a loving look on the outside. Not getting the move done. But Lunar Jedi is really close. And but Martinoli kept his position. Great defensive move from Martinoli to cover the inside. And Lunar Jedi struggling. Look at him. A bit of oversteer out of that corner. And we're going to switch back to Lars. Lars is also really close to PSD Doggo. Lars is on the quicker tire at this moment because of the soft tire compound of BSD Doggo is 7 lap old. And look at Casey. Casey is closing in, but look at Lunar Jedi. Lunar Jedi puts it on the inside of Martin Oli. And look at Chip Skills. He is closing in as well. So we have a three way battle on our boards. And Erma picks up a three second time penalty. And of course, the teammate of. Irma is quicker at this stage of the race because of his soft tires. But he needs to switch back to the medium tire at the end of the race. So we will see Chief Skills now closing in to Martinoli. Chief Skills gets good get a good run out of that corner and is now closing in to Martino Martinoli's really having a go on Lunar Jedi, but he's not close enough. So the closest battle on track is between these three drivers and we are having a great show at this, at this stage. And Chief Skills is running the soft tire compound so he will definitely have the advantage on the grip level. Will he be able to get the move done? into turn one he has the DRS in the slipstream but he's not close enough so he will need to wait for oh look at chip skills he has a good run out of turn one and TGW has managed to get a penalty and Connor has pitted for the medium tire so he will go for the one stop strategy oh look at chip skills Looking, looking and looking to make the pass on Martinoli. Martinoli doesn't have any DRS on the main straight. So it will be cheap skills his time to make the overtake. And he will. And Martinoli knows. Cheap skills already on the inside. 
and he has the advantage on the tires so he will get the move done even before the corner so Chief Skills moves up to P4 and Casey is looking oh Casey when I'm just starting to talk about you you spin and that will allow Melly to be in that virtual P1 at this moment but he we all know that he needs to make another pit stop and Casey is just spinning around unfortunate for him because he just drove an excellent race so far and look at cheap skills he is really challenging Lunar Jedi on those fresh off tires We are halfway on on this race with currently Melly leading and a yellow in sector three. What's happening? What's out? Oh, what's happening? It's someone in the wall. No safety car just yet. And Cheap Skills is looking to have a go on Lunar Jedi. But he's not close enough. And I think that's our close. Oh, look at Cheap Skills. He gets the move done. Late breaking. I didn't think he was that close to make a move, but maybe Lunar Jedi is just playing it smart. That he just don't need to waste his tires because Chief Skills needs to make another pit stop. And Martinoli is closing in to Lunar Jedi. Well, Lunar Jedi is just picking up the rest on cheap skills but he just stay hopefully he can just stay within the rest range of cheap skills to keep ahead of Martinoli and everyone behind is not really close but we're switching back to R1D44 he is closing in to Tomat R1D44 is on the fresh off tire. And let's have a look at the current penalty situations with the current leaders, Mali and Cheap Skills, having six seconds of penalties. Lunar Jedi not having one penalty, so didn't Martinoli. Uh, Erma having 3 seconds, Max Bell 3 seconds, Casey 6, Connor 8, um, Sammy Z having 6 seconds of penalties, and Tomat picks up another penalty. He is really struggling on those track limits today. R1D44 has 9 seconds of penalties. Zokeluna at 3 seconds, TGW having 14 seconds, PSD Dogo having 6 seconds and Gold having 6 seconds as well and look at R1D44 of course he got oh Tomat what are you doing man are you kidding me that was just that was Fucking embarrassing to be honest. Lunar Jedi is closing in to Cheap Skills. Cheap Skills is struggling on his tire. And the current tire situation is 5 lap olds for Cheap Skills. So the mediums are really having a crossover point now compared to the soft tires. And look at Lunar Jedi. He is really gaining on Cheap Skills. But he is not wasting any arrests.
and R1D44 is closing in to Semi on the fresh off tire will we be able to get the move done real quick he is close enough he needs to pass him as quick as possible he gets a good exit and now is on the main straight and we have a yellow in sector one and sector two and we have the leaders currently pitting and that will allow lunar jedi to take over the lead and chief skills is pitting Mali is pitting all for mediums and now it will be very very I'm very curious what the guys on the mediums can do and of course R1D44 has managed to put himself into P10 but he is on one lap old softs and will he be able to make it till the end no close battles on track so we're currently see who are the current provisional winners uh, Lunar Jedi is the current provisional winner of tier 3 Marginoli is the provisional winner of tier 4 and we have Arma in P2 in tier 3 Larsh in P2 in tier 4 and Max in P3 currently in tier 3 and we have Connor currently in P3 in tier 4 and we have a yellow in sector 2 and that's an Austin Martin semi set who has just lost it he is in the wall and he is right on the middle of the track so will there be a safety car no I don't think there will be But will Lunar Jedi make another pit stop with 11 laps to go? And look at Casey, he is really hunting down Lars at this stage. Casey in the white Red Bull really showing his true pace on those fresh medium tires Look at Casey, gets the move done. Of course he did. He has the advantage on the tires compared to Lars. But Lars has managed to not pick up any penalties just yet. So that's good to see from the tier 4 driver. And Lunar Jedi still into P1 but cheap skills is closing in to Mali let's have a look at the t time penalties between these two Mali having 9 seconds cheap skills having 6 seconds so cheap skills is already ahead of him um, on based on penalties so will cheap skills take the risk to pass him or Will we just wait for the right moment to, over to make an overtake? So we have a lot of a pretty big gaps to be honest. So we're going to stay on board with a 
training lap from Lunar Jedi. Let's see how his tires are at this stage of the race. I think they are um, nine nine lap old tires, and they're really looking good. Actually, no big raining. So, will he be able to? stretch it till the end on these tires that will be amazing if he can but we need to find out about that one I think the right choice is the medium soft strategy but soft medium so we're staying on board with a lap of Lunar Jedi the current leader of this race and already seeing some back markers and Tomat gets another three second time penalty We have 9 left remaining and Lunar Jedi is still leading the pack by 4 seconds. No penalties for him. So it's looking good for him so far. The consistency pays off again. He's not the quickest in qualifying. And oh, there's a Williams. Whoa, Williams. A PSD Duggo in the wall. Unfortunate for him. And who has the fastest lap at this stage? It's Casey currently having the fastest lap in T3. Oh, PC Doggo has just retired from the session. Uh, will we get a late safety car? I don't think that will be. So Casey is currently holding the fastest lap and look at we are going to have a battle between Max Mali and Cheap Skills. A three way battle for P4 and I think in tier 3 it's the l for the last podium spot so we have a battle for P3 in tier 3. So that's great to see a battle between these three guys. Mali has the advantage on the tires and he is closing in to him and gets the inside line on Max Bell and he gets the move done even for the corner and now it, it, this will allow Chief Skills to close up on Max as well. And Chief Skills is really taking different lines compared to Max. Will that be in favor for him? We will see. He is really closing in. Really look at the grip levels. He's still stuck behind Max. A bit of oversteer out of that corner. But he kept it on track. And let's see if he can close in now. But Max gets the DRS. And so did Chief Skills. And Cheap Skills, look at him, he has the advantage on the tires, really having a better exit compared to Max. He's keeping it close. Don't have any problems with the dirty air from the car of Max. Look at Chip Skills, can he make a move? He will definitely close in. Max didn't pick up any DRS, so this will be the moment for Chip Skills to make the overtake. Max is covering the inside. Chip Skills is late breaking, but he is not close enough. Look at Chip Skills.
Really closing in. Will he go for a late move on the inside? No, he isn't. So, oh, look at Max. He's really struggling on these tires. And Cheap Skills is taking really different lines compared to Max. Look at Cheap Skills having a good exit. Now, put it up on the inside. Yes, he can. No, he's waiting. And kisses the back of Max. And now is the time to get the overtake done. But even for turn one, he's on the inside. And he has made the move. And Max is now into P4. P5 in tier 3. And Cheap Skills is now really able to keep within the penalties. The 3 seconds of Mali. But Max is still closing in. And Max is still within the duress range. And we have a McLaren. Tomat is in the wall. He is just retiring in the pits. I'm, I don't know why people are retiring in the pits. I just don't know why. Because they're... We have mixed grid, so you will get points if you finish the race. So, with six laps remaining, five laps remaining from now, it's still Lunar Jedi who's in the lead of this race. Consistency is the key. And that's what we are calling like Lunar Jedi is just so consistent on the race pace and Martinoli is losing a lot of time to him definitely the quickest strategy the soft medium com the soft to medium compound strategy is definitely the fastest and Cheap Skills is closing in to Mali. Mali gets another 3 second time penalty. He's pushing and pushing. And it's going to be Cheap Skills who is closing in. Cheap Skills is in within the DRS range. So he will definitely close in. And look at Max only having three second time penalty. So he will definitely jump Mali if it stays like this. And yeah, who's my driver of today so far? I'm not sure, but if you are a tier 4 driver and you are able to manage a P2 in. A mixed grid between tier 4 and tier 3 then you are my driver of today so as it stands it will be Martinoli because that's just amazing stuff from him to challenge the guys at tier 3 and even grabbing a podium of that so that's great to see from Martin cheap skills get another penalty and gets to 9 seconds as well. So Max needs to stay within 3 seconds of Cheap Skills. And look at Cheap Skills. He is closing in to Mali. Mali will pick up the DRS off because he's right behind Gord. Oh, Cheap Skills has lost it! No! <coughs> what happened to Cheap Skills there? 
he clipped the curb a bit too much which resulted him to have a small spin and Irma had a moment as well oh it was Irma and both Mercedes had a moment so Mali is closing in to Irma but how many penalties does Irma have? Only three seconds, so Mali can overtake him, but I don't think he will be close enough to claim that spot because of the penalties of Mali. And Casey gets another time penalty. But Lars is 18 seconds behind. And look at Mali, he is closing in to Irma. Of course, a battle has been fight out on track and look at Mali diving on the inside to Irma and gets the move done and moves up to P3. And Eroma knows that he doesn't need to take too many risks. And let's have a look. Lunar Jedi. Let's have a look at his tires. They're looking pretty decent so far, I think. And R1D44 has just lost it in the wall. And he is out of this session. Unfortunate for him. But. Let's stay on board with the battle between these two guys. It's Irma and Mali with two laps to go. Mali is struggling on the mediums. Let's have a look. How old are those tires? Nine lap olds only. So I'm not sure if that, if that will make any difference. But Lunar Jedi is running on 17 lap old medium compound tires. And he's still gaining on Martinoli right behind him. And we're almost in our last laps. And our last lap is ongoing now with Lunar Jedi having a 6.3 second gap off against Martinoli and he is still running away with it and Martinoli we have two big winners Lunar Jedi definitely dominating tier 3 today and we have Martinoli again dominating tier 4 um, he is probably taking up the championship lead um, compared to Lancy, we will, we was not able to make it, but we will see if Martinoli gets the 25 points. He will, yes, he will. He is 20 points behind Lancy at this stage, but if he gets the 25 points, he will be our new championship leader of tier 4. So, great race from Martinoli, no mistakes, a crazy pole lap, of course he wasn't able to close in on Lunar Jedi because Lunar Jedi is currently the leader of tier 3, but look at him, he's really gaining a lot of time now. But I think Lunar Jedi is just not, oh he's... What happened to Lunar? Lunar is just... Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What happened there? 
And it will be Lunar Jedi winning the Grand Prix of USA with Martinoli finishing in second. Mali crosses the line in third, but he. Oh, what happened to Casey? Mali into P5. Irma picks up a P2 in tier 3. Chief Skills picks up a double podium for Mercedes in tier 3. Lars picks up a podium a second place in tier 4. And Connor picks up a third place in tier 4. Connor is now going to the line and a great performance from him as a tier 4 as he is crossing the line into that podium spot for tier 3, tier 4 and Gord is in P4 in tier 4, that's amazing <laughs> grabbing points as a tier 4, 12 points for him and finishing with 39 seconds crazy race a lot of happened Lunar Jedi picking up the win in front of Martin Noli so our finishing Lunar Jedi takes the win Martinoli in second Irma in third and we have Cheap Skills in fourth Melly in fifth Max Bow in sixth Lars in seven Connor in eight Zoccheluni in nine TGW in ten Casey in 11, 12 Gord, R1D44 in 13, Tomat, Doggo, Semi, a lot of DMNFs today, sadly, but, well, I have enjoyed this race. Lunar Jedi is a winner, but Martin Oli is my driver of today. Um, thank you for watching this commentary session, and I will see you next week.